Hello. So the uh, dehumidifier stopped running a little while ago, but I didn't come over right away. And I did come over afterwards, and it seems like this is pretty dry. Um, I'm running my hand through it, as you can see, and I'm not feeling moisture. So I think I'm going to pull it out of here and consider it dry and consider washing the next something or other. Um, back in the area where we're doing the cataloging at the moment, I've been working on the two by two bricks and let me tell you this does take a bit of time um, I've only made it through uh, yellow white uh, the transparent colors uh, that's it uh, I have noticed though that I have a few of the variants uh, and it's interesting because the variants are kind of minor but I'm noticing that it's easy enough for me to look for them when I'm doing it so like here's a white two by two brick and the variant is on the underside, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, there's these little lines, two lines, vertical lines on each side that help snug the, the piece into place. And the variant is, the older ones don't have that. So as I'm sorting them, I basically, and I'm, I'm sorting them and, and kind of stacking them up as I go, loosely stacking them, I can easily check for that. So I'm doing that and I'm, I'm creating separate lots in case people care. I will have to go back and check some of the older bricks to see if they have that variant or not and then have to check to see if i have the variant um but i ran into an interesting case um of all the ones now as you can see i've got an entire bin there's over 200 white ones in there and i have four of the variant so it's not particularly common in my opinion um i had a total of two trans clear two by two bricks both of them appear to be the variant without those vertical lines. And in addition to that, this one looks like practically brand new. Uh, they also, the logo on them is slightly different. You're probably not going to be able to see that. Um, but it is the one that's darker. The, the milkier one is an older logo. I really doubt that's going to come out. But in any case, um, so I've uh, checked on the Discord to see if anybody has a new that they know, you know, maybe they parted out a set and had a trans clear 2x2 brick in, in new condition so that I can get a picture of the underside to see if it actually does that or not. Now, when I looked at the sets, the sets that the ones without those little edges or the little lines on them are really old. Like, I think the most recent one is mid-80s or something like that. Uh, and a lot of them are even older than that. So it's like the original design. And I really, I, I would be surprised if this one was that old. Uh, I mean, this one, it's yellowed a little bit. It's, it's a little faded, a little milky. It's actually probably not even going to be sold because I think there's a crack right there on that side you can kind of see. Um, but I'm keeping it here for the time being. This one, this one looks practically brand new. I would have no problem selling that one. Um, so we're kind of wait to see if anybody replies about that. But I'm going to cut it off for tonight. Uh, I've got a whole bunch more work to do with the rest of these. Um, these totes, the red, the blue, and the black, the reason they're canted like that is because those are the ones that those colors exist in that variant. The variant doesn't exist in the other colors, so I'm not even going to bother really looking for it in those colors. Um, so, yeah. And it also, the variant appears in a light gray, but not the light bluish gray. And I'm all those are getting set aside for some day when I'm going to probably hate myself for putting it off. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's more than I want to deal with right away. And I think I need to get these lights in here moved because you can see the lights are here behind the desk. So I want to move these lights this direction, which I don't think is going to be a big problem at all. Um, as you can see, I've also got this desk lamp set up. Um, so that really helps in being able to look at the pieces carefully and as you can see I've got quite I got almost a full shoe box of just two by two two by three and two by four rejects uh, I'm not even sure that's all the two by four rejects that I have uh, but there are a few in there uh, yeah that is my update for late Monday evening uh, I'm going to sign off and again thank you very much hello again we have not done uh, a lot since we last spoke, especially right over here. Uh, everything is pretty much the way I left it. Uh, I did add one part because I found it elsewhere and I just basically dropped it in the drawer and went to BrickLink and added in the quantity. But 
what's really happened is over here um, as you can see I've cleaned up all the bunch of the folding table there's still one more folding table over there but the other ones are over here now and I've put the topper on top of the small the folding table the larger one and so yeah we've got a lot more space in this central area which is going to become important soon because I'm trying to make space in the office so I'm going to be starting to work on doing some stuff like that in the coming days I'm not going to focus since 100% on that or 100% on a brick link. Try to split it up some. Um, like I'm going to put a special bookcase right here. I'm going to move these items because uh, the, this first thing is actually a desktop that my dad had made. Similar to the one that my carpenter had made, but smaller. That's probably going to end up going to the office eventually. And then behind it is just a door, which probably will go away. I'm not really sure yet. But it'll take up a little bit of space there. It's not going to stick out too far. Uh, and it's a little bit wider of a space than the shelf, which is fine. Uh, I'll have plenty of space to still get through there. But I need to create more room in the office so I can make more use of the office and also start trying to clear the garage some. Um, the garage has Lego in it. And besides the skid of Lego, I'm going to try to get most of that Lego down here. Not 100% sure where it's all going to go. Um, I have to kind of make decisions on that. At some point, I will be freeing up another heavy-duty metal shelf, not one of the castered ones. Those are for the Bricklink store. And putting it over here, probably. Um, I'm probably going to move some of these shelves down. There's a little bit of room before the stairs. And make room here for another shelving unit. So this stuff will have to find a new home, which, you know, is not a problem. We can take care of that. Uh, I've been using these some already to put pieces in and so we're going to continue with that but yeah i mean things are kind of moving along i got i'm just trying to organize a little bit more get things put where they belong i did put the tote of uh slope pieces down here at the bottom that's been washed so that's taken care of and i don't think i'm going to do any more wash right away um i've got no single category other than the vehicle parts and I'm not really sure how I feel about washing the wheels. So I have to revisit that in my head to think what I think about that. But none of the other categories have like a full tote here. Um, I mean, this one I think does, this is the, the Bionicle. So I mean, I guess, or not Bionicle, well, Bionicle and Technic. So I guess I could do that one. Um, it's kind of a frightening one. Cause I mean, I know this white lidded tote is Technic and these things here on top are years and years ago, some sorted Technic. So yeah. Um, but one of the next things I may tackle is this tote here. It's an oblong tote, but it's got all the larger bricks in it. Uh, taller and wider than uh, two by or one brick high. So I think I'll probably tackle that. because It doesn't look like it'll be too, too bad to take care of. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, making some room. Going to bring some stuff down here to get it out of the garage so I can make some room in the garage. It's just, just a big juggling act. But that's okay. That's what I'm kind of about here, and we'll get through all that. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited. We're going to be uh, probably uh, starting to sell some pieces here relatively soon. In any case, um, I have had a couple of requests for uh, vlog content, so I'm not going to do that in this segment, but in a future segment in this vlog, there will be some requested vlog content. So we will get to that quickly. In any case, thank you very much. Hello again, and uh, we've made some progress. These two by two bricks are taking forever though, because uh, yeah, there's a lot of them in the smaller space because they're smaller. Uh, but I just have these four colors left here. Uh, these two may have the variants, so I have to be careful with those. These two should be pretty straightforward. And then I kind of, I'll probably put away everything because all the two by brick is still over here on the cart. Um, and then I'm probably going to start sorting one of the other categories. Um, and so we can go look at what I have. I'm not really sure what I'm going to work on next. Oh, look at that. I forgot to turn the light on. Let's do that right now. Um, so over here I have the, the one by and the two by plate at the top, uh, one by brick here and then modified brick and plate tile. And then the very recently, uh, washed slopes. I'm probably going to lean towards one of these three categories up here, the one by or two by plate or the one by brick, uh, just because I think they'll be easier than the rest of these. These 
Modified ones are going to be a bear. They're going to probably require a sub sort uh, before I get to an actual sort. Um, tiles won't be horrible. Slopes are going to be probably between tiles and the modified stuff because there's a lot of slopes. But and I've also changed how I've been doing slopes, so this is going to be difficult because like I now my two categories of slopes are uh, studded slopes and non-studded slopes, and so anything that has studs. Uh, on the top of the of the piece where the uh, the slope is partially is going to go in one place and then other stuff in another so this would be a studded slope all uh, right there uh, I don't know that I have and and this also this is now probably going to vehicle parts so yeah some of the stuff is changing I'm thinking this is also going to vehicle parts because it's generally uh, plain fins and that sort of thing um, and so I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to go about dealing with this the other problem i have is like there's this type of piece where you've got studs on the top there's also the piece like this that it's sloped the other direction and so yeah i've got some pieces where there's sloping in one direction and not sloping or studs in one direction and not studs in the other and i have to decide if i separate those two pieces even though they're kind of the same piece just upside down uh so yeah there's a little bit of a little bit of confusion as far as this category and i also have some bags of these were washed separately in a separate bag in with the other bag because they're already sorted out so those would be easy to deal with but yeah i'm probably going to end up doing one of these three categories up here but that is all i have for today at the moment i'm just getting started it's later in the day than i would have liked to have gotten down here but had some other stuff that i had to try to take care of and some of it took a lot longer than i really should have I'm still waiting for one call back as well. So maybe we'll get some help tonight. We will see how that goes too. But yeah, we've got more space here and we're going to be using it soon. That's the plan. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. And we are back. It is Wednesday night later. Uh, I did not end up having help today. And as you can see, my rack is empty. Well, except for some dividers and a couple of random things. I finished all the 2x2 two two bricks and put everything away, and now I have this laid out. Uh, it is a big tub of 1x plate, and I see actually here's a 2x plate in there that doesn't belong, so pull that out. 1x uh, plate that is, well, just now a little bit further under uh, 23 pounds. Almost 23 pounds worth uh, with the tote, so probably 22 pounds worth or 21 plus or something like that. And so we're going to mold sort. I got a bunch of totes set up to be able to do that. I'm probably going to get something lower to work out of as opposed to this particular bin. Uh, and then I'm going to work on sorting this out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start tonight. It's getting a little on the late side. So I may just leave this and start tomorrow. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. It is Thursday. And uh, I was all set up to do my sorting over here, and I changed my mind. I'm not going to do the sorting over here, and that's partially because I had the computer set up over here, and I moved it. And then I had all this stuff over here, and I'd moved this mat because the paint is totally bubbling and peeling and chipping in this area. So I had put the mat down to protect it, but there's another spot over there. So I wanted to have the chair protect, uh, protect from the chair the floor. Uh, over here while I was sorting but then if I'm gonna go over and check the computer I'll be rolling over this again so what I decided to do is just move where I was doing the sorting to back over here where the floor is fine which is kind of funny because this is an area that had water over it uh, you can kind of see a water line through here uh, there was water through most of this area at different points but I was doing all my you know parting out and stuff over here for a while and it wasn't a problem so this is where i'm going to set up and I, I went through and i put one of each piece in each one so the one by one twos threes fours sixes eights tens and i found a one by twelve i don't know if there's anything larger than a one by twelve i do have another tote over there i can use if i run into any and what i'm going to do is i'm either going to pour this out directly on the table which i'm considering um but it's going to cause a mess and it's going to go everywhere or i'm just going to get a lower container and dump some into as i go which is probably what I'm going to do, at least for the time being. Uh, because I have a, a contained amount of it. That way it's not all over the table. And if I decide to, it's easy enough to pick up all the stuff and move to somewhere else. But I've got my computer here set up so that I can keep tabs on a few things. 
And yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start sorting these one by plates uh, by size and then later on down the road color eventually, but one thing at a time. In any case, uh, thank you very much. And uh, very soon we're going to be going over some of the reject type parts. I'm, I got a plan for that. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello again. Well, it is later on Thursday and I'm probably going to stop for the evening now. I've got to get up early in the morning. I have an appointment. Uh, but this is the one by plate being sorted. Uh, I just dumped another load into this bin from the tote down here, which is probably about half as full as it used to be. Um, I've got a little container here, some non-Lango stuff I found that it's unsaleable in my opinion. Wrong category, which, you know, I know I was going to find some. And then I've got one by plate, two by, three by, four, six, eight, 10 and 12. Um, I imagine most of these, well, except for the one by and the 12 by, are probably going to have a full shoebox or more. Uh, I'm not positive about the 10s. Pretty sure the 8s will get a full, full one, although maybe not. And the 3s, maybe not. But I mean, as you can see, 2s are almost full, 4s and 6s are almost full. Those are almost guaranteed to be full by the time I'm done. And also, the smaller ones are probably filtering down further in that as it's been moved around. So my guess is I'll start getting more of the smaller ones here and less of some of these bigger ones. But, I mean, there's still bigger ones to be found right there. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on. Uh, it's a little monotonous, but it's not bad. I'm enjoying it. And it's kind of a nice little change from what I had been doing, which was just cataloging the 2 by brick. So... Of course, that'll what happened to this afterwards is I'll have to catalog it and color sort it first and all that. But one step at a time. And that's what I like about this. It's like just one step at a time and I'll get to it all. Anyway, uh, I will be back with some sort of an update on Friday after I get back from my appointment and take care of a couple of things. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. It is Friday evening and I had a lot of stuff to do today, but I've got a lot of it done. I got my flu shot today as well. I'm feeling fine from it though. And so more of the one by plate sorting has gone on. I basically have lit it up one by two and one by four. One by six is almost ready to get litted and I'm not sure the other ones will get lit. I'm almost sure the one by one won't. But I still have a fair amount down there. That's probably two or three, maybe even four more loads of this thing. I don't keep this totally full either because I want to be able to look through it. Uh, I've got a number of parts here that were in the wrong place and a couple of them and you might think well this this one's not in the wrong place but it's printed so yeah uh, and there's a couple like that in there and then I've got a small little container of non Lego and some broken and otherwise un unsaleable pieces um, and then this little guy here I just used to scoop out the one by ones because uh, when I get near the when I get down to just one by one and one by two, I just slide them apart and then I use the cup to scoop up the one by ones because there's far less of them. And then I just dump the one by twos right from one bin to the other. Um, so yeah, that is my status at this point. I'm getting ready to go to the Lego store tomorrow morning to get uh, my Halloween VIP piece pack so I can uh, show you guys all what is in that pack because I don't even know. And so we'll get one, bring it home, make a video, and get it up. You will have already seen that by the time this video comes out, though, so that's kind of ironic. Uh, we're also going to go back over to the desk. Uh, I've set up uh, my rejects, because it was asked about, like, what types of things I'm rejecting, and so that we're going to talk about that. Um, so to start off, I've got over here, this is a bin of stuff that I think can be okay. It just needs further cleaning. Uh, these are mostly non-lego but it's also broken pieces uh this one the pin underneath is broken down here from my finger uh here's a, an example of a plant piece it's not quite right uh that kind of thing these are also broken pieces but they're more traditionally broken just you know the the dark red and the reddish brown uh just breaking and then uh oh yeah this one the tube is broken underneath Probably still otherwise usable, but there it is. Uh, and then these are all just the regular reject pieces that I don't think they're broken in any way, but they're just unusable uh, 
or unsellable in my opinion. A lot of these would be perfectly good to be used. Um, I'm tending to be a little more strict with my grading, although I've gotten a little more lenient over time. But we're going to look at some examples here. So this is a 2x6 brick. And you can see very clearly there's a very, very prominent scratch on the one side. And I think the other sides are pretty much fine, although there might be a little nick right here. It's hard to see. Um, this one, there's a little bite mark kind of thing. You can see that definitely in the glint there. Uh, another one there on that side, another one on that side, another one on that side. It's just pretty bad. Uh, this blue piece isn't nearly as bad, but there's still a couple of marks there on that side. A little bit of scratch there, and a couple of cor uh, edges here have some nicking to them. So again, that's, that's not a really great piece. And then we've got three tiles. Um, this one is probably the least bad of all of them, and it's going to be really hard to see. I've got the light on. I don't know if that's helping or not, but... Try to get it to glint, and then we'll see if we can kind of see what's going on with the piece. Definitely not working out here too well. There we, wait a minute, there we go. So there's a bit of scratching going on to it, and just a little bit more than I would feel comfortable selling, and then these two are, are even worse. Um, you should be able to see that like there. There's a lot of scratching on that. And I think this one here is even worse than that one. There's some heavier gouging almost going on with that. Um, but that is an example. I, it's like, I listed 1,300 of these 2x2 two two light bluish gray tiles. And I probably have six or 700 of them that I rejected. And there's some other larger tile in there as well. Um, the, most of the rest of this in this bin are the large plates. Uh, and then in this one is the, the large, large bricks. And then this has the 2x4 down to 2x2. Two two, and then it got so full I used this one for additional 2x2. Two two. And you can kind of see how I was going through by color. So that is kind of the, the way I go about that. And I'm not 100% sure what all I'm going to do with the pieces. Now, clearly, these broken ones, not any good. I'm actually going to look into whether or not I can send these to Lego for recycling. I do know they uh, have a program where they'll take pieces, theoretically they clean them up, and then if they're good, they send them off to people, you know, to, to use. Um, but I'm not sure what they do with broken pieces, so I need to look into that. Because if they were able to recycle it back down in the plastic and either reuse it or just not just throw it away, I would probably opt to do that. I would probably wait until I got a whole lot of it to send it in, but that's what I would probably consider doing. But yeah, I'm not really sure. With all the pieces that are essentially usable, I'm not sure what my plan is. But yeah, that is the video for tonight. And tomorrow there'll be some more updates as well. Again, as always, thank you very much. Hello. <clears throat> no, that's bad. Hello. So today is Saturday, October 1st, and I went to the Lego store this morning. I did not go as early as they opened because I knew there was going to be a long line, and also I was tired. I had been up late sorting one by plates. So I picked up some stuff and picked up this. This is the VIP promo pack, and we are going to open it up and see what's inside of it right here. Uh, I'm trying something a little different. I'm using the camera uh, on a tripod with a ring light, and we'll see what we get. Now this is set... 40513 Spooky VIP Add-on Pack. It says it has 119 pieces in it. So let's see what is in here. Uh, you would get, now the purchase price for this at the Lego store is $50. And it doesn't matter what you buy. You're just $50 and you'll get this. I think you have to be a VIP member though as well. All right, so here we go. This is the, the larger stuff. And then there's a smaller bag. We'll look at that in a moment. So we've got a couple of wagon wheels. A spider web. There's a couple of fence pieces. Let's see. Yeah, it does look like it's uh, right, the wagon wheels are in focus. I'm trying to get an idea of what is seen on the camera since I'm not looking through it. There's the um, spider web. Uh, we've got uh, four two by four orange plates. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. There's a broom, a couple of brooms. Looks like they're in dark brown. There are four of these 
snot bricks in the two by one orange with the studs on the side. We've got uh, two pumpkins. They are not printed with anything. <clears throat> and some skeletons. Wow, we've got some skeletons here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six skeletons. At least the bodies. Two, four, five. There's six of the heads. And this is what the head looks like. Let's see if we can show this a little bit better. That's the head. Standard skeleton head, I'm pretty sure. Six of those. And see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the legs, which makes sense because you need two legs for each skeleton. We've got uh, a lantern piece. It looks like it might be uh, pearl dark gray. I think that's the color. Uh, there's a couple of wings. There is a witch's hat with got some hair molded into it as well. That's kind of cool. So it's like a normal witch's hat, but then there's like this blondish hair as well. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, a couple of these like ray gun things. Put that back over there. There is a couple of spiders. Another one of the witch's hats as I go dropping it. Another lantern right here. So there's two of those. These heads keep rolling around. Uh, let's see. We got a couple of these. They look like they're the wheel mounts. They're probably for these these wheels over here. So we'll just stick them right there. A couple of lightning bolt zap type uh, features. Got a bunch of these eyes. These are I'm not surprised to see these in some ways because they probably have so many of these they're trying to figure out ways to give them away. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of those eyes. Two, four, six, seven. Suddenly seven of them. I find that very odd. Two, four, six. There's seven eyes. Maybe it, I think it's small enough that it's considered an extra piece. There's probably supposed to be six and you got an extra. Uh, there's these crenellation pieces in dark bluish gray that basically... They've got like the an arch corner and then there's like the jumper type plate on the top, all one piece. There's that second spider that keeps rolling around. There's a third lantern. There are two teddy bears. Those are kind of cute. And then there's these four printed tiles with wood on them. In that's probably one of the nougat colors. I am still learning the colors to be completely uh, capable of identifying the colors. And now we've got the small bag, which is, I can guarantee you, I can guess what some of the stuff in here is. We've got arms, probably, for the skeleton. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this one over here hiding twelve. So we've got twelve skeleton arms. So you have six complete skeletons, which is just amazing. Um, we've got these one by two uh, trans green, but I, they, they might be trans yellowish green or something like that, plates. Uh, we've got two, three of these one by one round uh, brick in the same color, like a trans greenish color. Uh, we got some of these flowers in this lime color. How many? Three, four, five, six. So six of these little tiny flowers. They're just basically, it's a one by one round plate, but it's got scalloped edges to make it uh, a flower. And hopefully you can see, let me see if you can get this in the focus there. There we go. Um, we got those. Oh, there is actually a third one of these one by one round bricks. All right, so we've got uh, four of these clips, also in a nougaty color. It's a one by two plate with a single clip vertical coming off of it. There are four bats. So you get these four bats. Let's see. We have two chains, little short black chains, four of the dark bluish gray frogs. I guess they could be like statues or something. And then we've got one, two, three, four, again, seven of these printed cookies. Uh, again, it's probably small enough that it's considered to get, get you an extra piece. So there's seven of that. So this is everything you get 
in the poly bag. And again, that's 40513, the VIP, the Spooky VIP add-on pack, which is this right here. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, I decided after the previous one, the pirate one, got the most views of any video I have. I'm like, let's do this again, uh, but do it sooner. Because like that video, I didn't make that for like four or five days after the promo pack had come out. So here it is. This is all the pieces you get. Um, I think it's kind of cool that it comes with six skeletons. I mean, that's just, I can't think of another set that comes with six skeletons. So if you need an, an undead army, this is certainly one way to do it. In any case, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more interesting videos, and there'll be some interesting stuff in the new vlog coming up as well. Thank you very much. Hello. So we did more sorting last night. There is just a little bit left down there. It's probably two more bins worth or so. Um, but we also did the soft opening for the store. We sent out uh, bypass passwords to a few people. And I've had one order come in, and that is this stuff right here. Uh, and interestingly enough, there was still a problem with the order, but I was able to fix it. Just one of those things that came up. Uh, but they're going to get some extra stuff, because that's just the way we roll here. Um, this is some stuff that was found in bulk lots, some glow-in-the-dark parts, and then a spider that looks like it glows in the dark, but I don't think it does. Um, I took a random brick that it was deemed unsellable, and I just put dough two on it, and then the number one. And then these are just the dividers that go with this case, because the case is going along with it as such, like that. So it's on the splash page that we've got this. And uh, yeah, we'll be sending that out to uh, the order number one person. In any case, um, I think uh, I'm going to be almost done with this tonight. I might uh, finish it before I'm gaming, and then maybe I'll take one of these categories and I'll color sort it. Uh, and I might actually try gaming from down here in the basement because it'll be a little easier than trying to go upstairs. Look at this nice table here set up, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, things have started. I've gotten some feedback on the store, and I've already made a couple of small changes, mainly typos, on a couple other things that I'll probably be working on in the days following. And I might send out some more codes uh, midweek, uh, more passwords. But in any case, that is what we are up to, and thank you very much. Hello again. It's Saturday night. Uh, gaming is very soon, but I have just sorted, finished sorting the one by plate. Uh, I've got uh, this container of pieces that were in the wrong place. I've got this container of pieces that were not Lego, and there may be more. Uh, and this one is stuff that I could tell was unsaleable. I mean, like, this one's broken, so just can't sell that. Um, there are, there is a full container of one by two over there. A full container of one by four and a full container of one by six. That one barely needed the next container. These two definitely. This is another half. And this is probably another third of a container, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, everything else, I mean, the one by threes fit in one. The one by ones fit in one, although there's probably tons and tons of them in there. One by eights, one by tens, one by twelve. And one by twelves easily fit in the one container. There's not all that many. Uh, so yeah, that is all for the update for Saturday night. Uh, we'll get to another update on Sunday at least, and I'm going to try to get the video ready and to go by like maybe 3 p.m. on Monday. Um, trying to get on that schedule again. We'll see how it works out. In any case, uh, thank you very much, and one more update at least. Thank you. Hello. All right, it is Sunday, and this is the update. Um... In addition to the update that you'll see, I'm going to mention that I did go to the Lego store today and they were already out of the VIP promo poly bag. Now, I know when they did the pirate one, the my store received several shipments uh, of additional boxes of that poly bag. So they may get more, but they might be out. And I don't know what the stock level is like at lego.com. I did not look. But this is what I worked on yesterday while I was gaming. I basically, uh, as you can see down here, I've got shoe boxes with Acromills drawers in them of all the colors of the 1x12, 1x10, 1x8, and 1x6 plate. Uh, when we finished gaming, I was in the middle, or actually quite near to being done with the 1x4. So when we were done gaming, I just finished it up. 
And so these are all the colors of the 1x4. And I was using these longer box, uh, containers here because I was running out of like other containers. And it's good because several of these needed the larger containers. Um, but oddly enough, like, there's a couple here of all these. I got one of each of those two colors. Um, there's also a couple of colors like this one here, which I think is dark orange. And there's a couple, there's like a couple of shades in here that seem different, but they're not probably. Um, so yeah, there's probably some variance in the pieces there. Um, and going through all that sort, uh, I have, this is the uh, non-Lego. Uh, this is broken or otherwise unsellable. And this is just parts that were not the right kind of part. Lots of tile in here, but even some other larger pieces that just don't make sense. Like, why was this in there? Can't tell you offhand. So, yeah, that's uh, we're almost done. Uh, I still have the 1x3, 1x2, and 1x1. Uh, the 1x2 is the big one. That's, you know, one and a half shoe boxes. The 1x3 is pretty small, and it's the 1x3. The 1x1 is fairly sizable considering they're 1x1s. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to actually be able to sort everything and then upload just because I'm really, I'm running low on easily accessible containers. Like I've got all these cups over here, these small ones, and I might be able to do the one by three in those. That, that could be possible. Um, but yeah, this worked out really well. Like the black is probably the worst. It's right up near the top edge of this, but not too bad otherwise. Uh, the other update thing is I had a second order. And I can't remember if I mentioned it or not previously, uh, but it came in uh, like right before I was gaming or something like that. So I didn't deal with it. I dealt with it just now. And this is the parts right here that they ordered. Um, one by three, dark bluish gray brick. The dark tan, one by two profile masonry bricks. Four by four green plate. Four by four dark bluish gray plate. One by one dark bluish gray brick. One by four dark bluish gray Technic brick with the three holes in the side, and then these olive green leaf pieces. Interestingly enough, they bought everything I had of each of these pieces except for the olive green leaf piece. They bought 10 or 15, and I have several hundred, if not more than several. So, But everything else, this is all I had. So the interesting thing is I now have a new thing. I have empty containers. Um, when I went through and pulled stuff, I basically I carried this around and put stuff in it, and then the stuff that was the full drawers, those larger quantity pieces, I just put the drawers, you know, I, I pulled them with me. And then the other stuff, I dumped them out and I left the drawers on top of the units in the right spot to alert to me that they are empty. But I'll probably going forward, what I'll probably do is pull those drawers and bring them back to a, a central place where there will be empty drawers. I think because I'm just starting, uh, it would be completely bizarre to do this but i mean i could go through and just pull drawers from all of these units and just have them ready to go but there's just too much i don't think that's a smart move i think you know once i get ready to put away each category that i've designated for these pieces here then i will come and i'll pull a bunch of drawers and then i'll come and put them back but going forward once i start emptying drawers then i will probably pull them and put them in an empty drawer location like right here there's an empty spot and the drawer is up top because it's empty. But it's just what I did right now. Uh, as time goes by, I'll figure out best practices and that sort of thing. But yeah, that is the second order. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we get any more orders. And I will probably open it up for a second round of uh, early bird access, perhaps midweek. Uh, there's a few things I have to iron out as well with the store terms and things. Nothing critical. Just a couple of suggestions I got. And I need a, a little bit of time to go over that. But right now... My pr primary thing is going to be to get this ready to go. Uh, I've been having a little trouble with my sticker printer, so I may give that a shot again briefly, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it right now. Um, I will probably make sure I get it taken care of before I open officially, but for right now I'll just print it on paper and cut it out and tape it to the package if I need to. That's not my ideal way of doing it, but it does work, so there you go. In any case, uh, as always, thank you very much. All right, this is pretty late on Sunday night. Uh, this will probably be the last update for the vlog. Uh, and then I'll need to get that all taken care of and up so you guys can watch it tomorrow or today because you're probably watching it today in any case. 
Um, I finished sorting the 1x3 plate. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of different colors here. I basically pulled the shoebox forward and tilted it and then kind of just started pulling stuff out. And the colors are alphabetical order and then from here it goes this way. And then from here. And then it goes that way. And then through here. Uh, black was the winner. It had a full cup and a little bit more. But the dark bluish gray is pretty full. The light bluish gray slash light gray is pretty full. And then the white and the reddish brown and the red are pretty full. But most of the rest aren't that bad. And there are several. I mean, there's. I have one orange one. I think that's the lowest. Uh, three dark azure. Three brown. Four dark blue. So, I mean, there's a few that I don't have too many of. Five lavender. Um... But uh, yeah, so we got these all ready to go. So I'm just down to the one by twos in the back and then the one by ones here. Uh, I don't think, I don't think I'm going, I, I'm, I don't know. I have enough of these things, which I've been using with the smaller parts, it's certainly possible uh, with these through here that I could pack these up and uh, then uh, sort the one by twos and then the one by ones. And I'm kind of glad that I've been doing it this way because I've and not uploading anything yet because when I was going through the one by threes, I found two or three one by fours, which I were able to come over here. Uh, I also found some one by twos, which just went in the bin. And then as I was doing the larger ones, every single size had some of the smaller sizes in them. Although this is the first time, maybe the second time, that I found one that was too large. Um, I think there was one one by six in the one by fours. And like I said, there was two or three one by fours and the one by threes. Uh, so yeah, we will see exactly what I do going forward. I'm not sure, but it'll be in next week's vlog in any case. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy.